Oh, hello. Welcome to the Tiny Ballistics Lab. I was just getting ready for today's experiment. Coming right up, we're going to see just how much power we can squeeze out of the Crossman American Classic air gun pistol. Don't go anywhere. Ah, the pump action air gun. Whether it's a rifle or a pistol, a lot of us have a little experience with air guns like these. And if you're like me, you've often wondered, do the pellets really go faster the more you pump? And is there a top speed that they reach? Well, we'll answer those questions and more today in the Tiny Ballistics Lab. Stay tuned. Before I start pumping, we're going to make a backstop, especially for this experiment. The goal is to prevent pellets from coming back at me or the chronograph when I shoot. I also want to see the momentum we impart on the target. So we're going to make a sticky gong. First we make the gong holder. We'll use balsa wood which is very strong for its weight and can be easily cut and fastened with super glue. Here we use a hanger to form a cradle for the sticky gong. All but the loops you see on top will be inside the ball of glue. For the sticky gong itself, we are using a pound of duct seal. This stuff is very dense and sticky, and should catch pellets within an inch or so while showing a transfer of momentum. Now we simply hook the gong to the holder using four quick links, and now we're ready to catch some pellets. Okay, let's get started. We'll be first firing the Gamo Master Point, starting with five pumps. We'll add five pumps to each subsequent shot until we have a good reason to stop. We'll be shooting through this device called a chronograph, which measures the pellet's velocity. Since there was such a minuscule increase in velocity with that last shot, I think we'll call it at 30 pumps. We'll now perform the same series of shots, but with the heavier JSB monster pellet, so we'll have more data to examine. The clicking sound in the background is me pumping away at high speed. Here's the velocity data that we collected. It appears that each pellet reaches an effective ceiling in velocity at 30 pumps. As expected, each curve looks similar, but the heavier pellet shifted down on the graph. Here's the pellet's kinetic energy from the test. Surprisingly, the heavier pellets had more energy across the pump range. Before you say, well of course the heavier pellets have more energy. Heavier objects are more efficient at cutting through air than lighter ones. Well, that's true for longer distances. The velocity close to the muzzle where we tested it should not be affected by aerodynamics. Instead, I think it has more to do with the way the air valve opens. Even fast opening valves in air guns take time to fully open. I don't know what the actual units are, but here's what it would look like graphed over a fraction of time. 
I think the faster pellet was out of the barrel before the air valve delivered maximum pressure. The heavier pellet was in the barrel long enough to experience higher pressures. If we try a heavier pellet, will we get more energy? If we go too far, will the energy decrease? We'll have to soon plan a new experiment with heavier pellets. The wonderful thing about science is the new questions that are raised just as soon as others are answered. Thank you for watching! Did you know that subscribing to my channel is completely free and you'll be alerted when I release new videos? Just click the logo you see right now and you'll be on your way to YouTube happiness! I'm sure you'll love my other videos. Click here to watch them now.